y'all came out and looked, and then slowly, like, 50-plus people started coming out and looking. Those lights appeared out of nowhere. Mystery in the sky. Do you see the five dots there on your screen? Rare footage of unexplained objects hovering over an active U.S. military base in 29 Palms. According to witnesses, those lights floated in the air for about 10 minutes. What could they be? Let's bring in investigative journalist Jeremy Corbell. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. These topics always really fascinate me, and I yeah. think they fascinate a lot of people. We just showed the clip. What did we see? Yeah, well, look, this is an active investigation. This is, I'm trying to crowdsource to get more information. A bunch of military personnel saw, said they saw a craft, a triangular shaped craft, hovering over the base. So people reached out to me. Now, at first I thought it was flares, but after all this investigation, I can't deny that the people on the ground said that they saw a triangle shaped craft, huge, hovering over the base. And this is more than one person. Yeah, this is at least 50 people that I know of and have spoken with many of them watching this, and they know what flares are. Some of them shoot them up. They're telling me they saw a craft. And being in the military, they, they know what um, you know, objects they have to work with and what pieces of equipment they have. Yeah, yeah, these are specialists, and that's why I'm taking this seriously, is I'm not going to dismiss what the reports that come from the actual people on the ground. So are you recording these videos? Are you getting these videos? How are people giving you these videos? Yeah, so over the years, sources come to me with military footage, and they tell me, look, this hasn't been properly investigated. This hasn't been put through the, the proper chain of command because of stigma. I'm really here today to help reduce stigma to UFO reporting. I think it's so important that we are able to talk about this. I do think it's getting better. I think there are people out there who have said, well, look, it, it doesn't seem like, you know, with as big as the universe is and all of the galaxies that we would be alone. Right. Well, that's that's the issue. Our government certainly doesn't think that we're alone. They know they're a craft of unknown origin that fly with impunity in a restricted airspace, and people are seeing them. And that, that image you're seeing that has a kind of blue sky, you can see the shape of what the, the witnesses say they saw, a big triangle-shaped craft. That's we're showing some pictures right now. This is, this is different than the video we just showed? Absolutely. It's the same object, though, and that's why it's neat. We're able to see the shape of it. Look, this needs to be taken seriously. I hope stigma reduces. This is an active and open investigation, and I'm crowdsourcing to try to get more information for the Marines. What do you mean by crowdsourcing? Putting it out to the world as an active investigation, saying, can you help us solve this case? Can we have this dialogue rationally? Are you getting interest? Are you getting people who are, are contacting you? Oh, about yeah. That? I'm being blown up right now for more and more people that saw this and say they saw the body of a craft. Has social media helped you in this situation? I, I would have to think that, you know, we talk about all the time how there's all, the, you, you know, you're kind of in your silo, but I think there's enough interest across different platforms that people would maybe be posting or, or contacting you that way. Yeah, there's a lot of social media. I stopped reading it. There's a lot of vitriol on it, but okay. the main thing is that, yeah, I'm putting it out so people can communicate about it and we can get more video, more evidence, and try to solve a case. That's the whole point here. You know, it, obviously, we in the news have talked about some of these Chinese spy balloons and other things. Do you think that this is alien life from another planet, or could this be adversaries that are looking to gather intelligence, especially Especially when you think of it is over a military base. Yeah, well, I think we have to keep everything on the table. Our government says there are craft that are spying on us from other nations, but they also say there are craft that, that can do things that no technology that we know can do, and they're trying right now. They have an active UFO investigation program called Aero. They're trying to figure out who operates these vehicles. The big question, where are they from? So I think they all exist. Adversarial craft, craft of unknown origin, as well as just our cool weaponry. So we'll get closer as we have this dialogue if we reduce stigma. As we're showing another video, so how many videos and, and pieces of material do you have collected so far? Oh, I, I have dozens, but I, I released about six of them. Basically, what you're seeing is lumen flares dropping down to illuminate the body of this supposed craft. That's what you saw in that last clip. Okay, so are we alone? Do you believe in alien life? Where do you stand on this? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm certainly not alone in this universe. I have a lot of family. Where that family <laughs> extends, I don't know, but it's a Neptune? vast, like, it's a vast <laughs> universe. It's a vast universe, you know, and the question is, if there is intelligent life on other planets or farther or weirder, somewhere weirder, 
are they coming here? Well, our government definitely says that we have materials of unknown origin. Now, we have to analyze it, but I'm not putting anything to bed until I can prove it. That's, where can people go to find out more information? Sure. I have something called weaponizedpodcast.com. George Knapp, who's my mentor in journalism, we have a great show called Weaponized, but also you can go to Jeremy Corbell on social media, give me a tip, images, you know, let's go from here. Let's learn more. So you're willing to talk to anybody and everybody about this? That's, you know, talk, my my wife and my family says I talk to everybody, too many people, but yes, I'm willing to talk to anybody about it. If you have credible evidence, especially from military cases, that's my specialty. I've been able to release a lot of military film footage because sources leak it to me. Now, hopefully, the process gets better and there's a better chain of command of this information and my job becomes irrelevant. But for right now, you can come to me if you're within the military and, and you're not being heard. That's, what do you have to say to people who say, well, if this is leaked footage, you know, this this is people trying to get out their own agenda. This isn't necessarily credible. Yeah, well, I've worked for two years and I've, I've talked to people. I take my time, like on this case. I don't just take everything that comes to me and throw it up on YouTube. I really take my time. Now, is this case a UFO? or is it flares and lights? I don't know, we're trying to find out. But some of the cases, solid. Commander David Fravor off the, off the West Coast, the, the, the 2019 UFO swarms, all of that is legitimate. So look, sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. We need more data. So you're even giving me cases that I wasn't aware of. That's right, there's so many. Okay, well, thank you so much for being here. It's thank a you. fascinating topic, I think, regardless of where you fall on the spectrum of believing or not believing, and yeah. hopefully people will contact you and, and continue investigating investigating these. Um, thanks for being here. UFOs Appreciate are it. not a matter of belief. It's either true or it's not true. Let's find out and reduce stigma. There you go. All right. Well, thank you for being here. Ruta Bay. Fascinating. Guys, thank you.